G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome to uh, Shit Easy Motorcycle Camp Cooking. I've, bloody, I've brought out uh, Harry the Boulevard. We're heading out to the uh, Lodden River, about 30 k's outside of Benigo. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook up some deviled sausages. Now none of this stuff that uh, I've got, I don't, you don't need any refrigeration for this stuff. Um, it's a bit bloody windy today, but that's alright, we, uh, we should be alright. Alright, let's get going. Set up. Righto guys, so I've got myself pretty much set up. I'm gonna to have to do some prep stuff, but I wanted to run through um, some of the gear that I brought. So I've got the little mini gas stove. Most of you guys have seen that. You've also seen my little cheap Chinese uh, wood stove. For this thing, I need two elements of, of burning. Now, if you're doing, you can do this on a campfire, you can do this on the stove at home. Obviously, you can do it any which way, but you just need to have a pan and a pot. That's the two things that you need, plus your two sources of fire. Cutting board might help you out a little bit. You don't have to do that. Now, obviously just some utensils, knives, forks, a spatula, and bloody uh, tongs. Now, for the food, we've got, so for the sausages, you can bring your own sausages if you've got, you know, this doesn't have to be for motorcycles, but for motorcycles, it's obviously easier if you've got, if you're not gonna be close by a store or something like that, which is where normally when I'm doing adventures, it's. We're not anywhere near it, and we're not going to carry sausages in a uh, pannier bag all day because it'll just ruin them and you get bloody sick. So I've got it for the uh, Contail Frankfurts. That's our sausages. We've got one onion, one potato, some peas, need dehydrated peas, some sauce, and of course the Maggi uh, Satchel. So that has all the spices and all the good stuff in there. And we, then we just add all the other stuff and cook it up. And it's bloody delicious because I've actually tried this before coming out here to do it just to make sure I would eat it. And I tell you what, this is going into my bloody uh, uh, recipe uh, rack, that's for sure. I don't have a recipe rack. <laughs> now, other things you're going to need is obviously a plate. And you want a decent plate because it's, uh, it's a fairly runny type of uh, uh, bloody setup. Some bottled water. Obviously, you'll need some type of water to be able to boil stuff. All right, I think that's about it. So what I'm gonna do is start getting some prep. I'm gonna get some water boiling. Um, I'll start chopping up the onions, chopping up the, uh, the spud, and uh, then we'll uh, get into the cooking part. All right, guys, so the first prep was getting the, the wood for the, uh, the wood fire. Having a, this little wood fire, they burn really efficiently. You gotta be on them all the time, so make sure you've got plenty of bloody wood. I've got uh, the pot boiling water just Bloody, I don't know, just over half full, enough to be able to boil this and also some peas. So I've got a little bowl here, gonna throw some peas in there, just whatever you reckon. Remember, they're bloody about half the size of what they normally would. Now, I normally will whack some water in this, but basically, whack some water in it, just they'll, they'll get them started to uh, rehydrate. Now, for cutting up my uh, onion and my spuds, I'm just gonna use my multi tool. I mean, it's not the best thing to use because it's uh, not, it's a bit of an odd shape, if you know what I mean. But it gets the job done and it's one less thing I've got to carry. Now, 
Now one thing I make sure I carry when I'm dealing with fire and with knives, and here you guys know me, um, there's always something's gonna bloody go wrong. So I've got my first aid kit with me because I'm out here and there's just no one here. Now, I've got a little bag here. All my scraps are gonna go in here and I'll take all the scraps out with me. So this onion, just cut her in half. And you can, you can either slice them, dice them. I like to slice them. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want. Doesn't really matter. All right, so that's, that's the onion cut up. Now what I'm gonna do is get this pan. I'll whack some oil in there. Whack as much as you want in there or as least you want. Now just, I'm gonna put these in here now just to get them out of the way. Because they'll brown up with the, uh, along with the uh, uh, sausages. All right, we're already starting to get close to boiling in there, so I want to get this spud in there pretty quick. So you don't ha you don't have to peel that potato if you don't want to. You can just cut it up as it is. I'm going to peel it just for the hell of it. There you go, that's uh, first blood <laughs> for the cooking series. Now we we'll try and cut these potatoes up uh, fairly small because that way they'll quick, uh, cook quicker um, in that boiling water. Lift that up, that, yep, just about done. All right, that should do it. Whack those. So now all we're gonna do is whack these, get these bloody um, potatoes cooking. Now the potatoes take longer than the peas to cook, so we get those on, get that to a rolling, uh, to a simmer. I'll turn that down as soon as it does that. And then, I don't know, about five minutes, I'll throw those peas in. All right, time to get the uh, wood stove going. So now, with these uh, Frankfurt sausages in the tin, just crack her open. Don't pull it all the way open, and then just pour the contents out. So once you've poured that water out, there's your uh, Frankfurts. Whack them in there. That's now boiling, so I can turn that down. We'll still keep those peas ready to uh, to put in there. Jeez, I reckon I've got the flame coming the wrong way. So basically what you want to do is brown up these uh, sausages. Now these sausages are already pre-cooked, so really we're just warming them and getting a bit, a bit of a brown browning to it. If you lose one like that, we've got plenty, doesn't matter. Let the wildlife have it. Sure there'll be a few foxes around here who'll enjoy that tonight. Now remember, don't let your fire go down too quick. All right guys, so we've been going for a uh, couple of minutes now. I'd say about three minutes. So these, uh, sausages are starting to brown up. I can see the onions are starting to uh, soften up. So basically now we've got to do is add the water. They say one and a half cups. This is about one and a quarter. If I fill this up, it's one and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is just pour that on there. Now I might probably keep it a little bit less just because this fry pan that I've got, have got is a fairly small one. I'll whack that in there. 
think it's two tablespoons of tomato sauce that you whack in. This uh, bottle's about 50 mil, and I think two tablespoons is 40 mil. So I'm just gonna whack all that in there. Spread it around. That should be enough. Then we just get our satchel, throw that in like that. Then just start stirring it around. And don't forget your fire. Make sure we keep that fire going. So just really give that a good stir around. Now what's gonna happen, I mean this looks really sloppy, um, but because we don't have the lid on there, it's slowly gonna evaporate away and it's just gonna get saucy and just absolute bloody yummy, I swear to God. Cool, so that's basically it for that pan. Um, so roughly about 10 minutes, give or take. It all depends on your stove and all that kind of stuff. So you, you can just judge it, you'll see it, and you'll see it when, it when this is done. So just keep your fire going, keep the heat on there, just so you can start to see it's gonna start to simmer now. And just every now and then stir it, and um, that is pretty much set. Now for the potatoes, they're boiling away. They're actually boiling too much. So, easy, all you gotta do is tell if these, you put a bloody fork in one, and I can tell already that's not ready yet. So we'll let that boil away. I'll just keep stirring this, and I'll come back to you a little bit further on. guys so this is this is working bloody fantastic I've just checked the spuds and they're starting to uh, nearly come right so as you can see the peas and they've already been soaking up the stuff what we're going to do is whack that straight in there so now that's going to cook the the rest of the spuds and also those peas ready to add to this well we're not actually going to put it in there we're going to put it to the side and we're going to make it all look nice but I tell you, when you eat it, you mix it all together and it is just yummy. So you can just see that now, those, uh, how that sauce is starting to thicken up now. It's really good, like, it doesn't burn on this pan. And it's, I don't know what it is or why it is, but yeah, we've still got a little way to go yet. Just make sure we keep keep that bloody fire going. Keep the heat on there. That's the beauty of a, uh, a gas stove. You just, you turn it on, you've got that simple bloody control for turning the flame up or down or whatever. You just don't have to worry about it, simple as. The wood fire is fun, you've, you've got the smoke and the flame, it looks all cool, um, but you've got, to, you've got to work with it. Well, that's getting a bit, plenty of heat coming out of there now. But the more you work with a uh, the little wood uh, stove, you get you get you just get to know when to put the wood in and when not to put it in and all that kind of stuff. All right, I'll shut up. I'll come back to you. Righty-o guys, I reckon we're just about bloody done. Look at that. That sauce has thickened up really nice. You'll see I've just let that fire die out now. So that can just sit on there. We'll just check these um, the spuds. Yeah, I can feel them, they're nice and soft. And if we try one of these uh, peas. Beautiful. How's that? <laughs> All right.
I'll turn that off. We'll drain these uh, this pot here. We'll just drain that off to the side. There we have it. This one more stir like that. Beautiful. So now all we've got to do is dish it up. Simple as. Whack that on there. No mucking about. Oh, I'll whack that on there. Just pour this into here. Like that. Bloody ripper. And there you have it. Now that is a big ass meal. And I tell you what, that is yummy. So I've got all that separated, but what I'm gonna do to eat this is just mix it all together. Cause I tell you what, that's the way to eat it. There you go guys, that is deviled sausages. Now with the uh, with the recipe they say about adding the uh, the apple to it, so what I've done to that recipe is I've added the potatoes and the peas and not put the apple in there. Um, and I reckon that's bloody delicious. All right, I'll uh, organize, me, organize myself and uh, we'll have a bit of a taste test. What do you reckon? Well there you go guys, deviled sausages, absolutely shit easy to do, anybody can do it. So now for the taste test. Still bloody hot, I swear. <laughs> oh yeah. Now these frankfurts, the, the, the pork frankfurts, if you have them by themselves, they have that, it's a bit of a funny taste. But, you just don't get that taste in this mix, especially with the peas and the uh, potato. That is just yum, eh? That's amazing how yummy this is. I was really surprised when I first did it. Oh yeah, good stuff. Now all I've got to do <coughs> is clean up all my bloody mess. But that's all right because I've got a pretty good system for uh, cleaning up that stuff. I've brought me my uh, me dishcloth and my little bloody uh, wash pan. So I'll get all that washed up, no worries. Boil some water, get some hot water going, just wash it all up. Ready for the next bloody uh, recipe I can come up with. All right, guys. I've done all right. It wasn't too uh, too windy here. We're in a fairly uh, shaded area, and uh, looks like the rain has held off. I didn't think it was going to rain, but she got certainly got a bit bloody dark around here. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, get out there. Bloody give shit a try. Try stuff at home. Remember, try stuff at home. If you're doing something new and you're not too sure about it, kick the misses out of the bloody kitchen and uh, just give it a try, see how you go. It's always good to know what you're doing before getting out into places like this when things are a little bit you know, harder and, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, remember, keep on riding guys. And if you ain't riding, keep on bloody keeping on. Bloody hell guys, I didn't really forget about me. Uh... Oh, you bastard. Get off. God, nearly forgot about me bloody beer. Oh. Alright, take your rubbish home. Mm. And yep, a beer goes well with that meal. So that's a uh, Castlemaine lager. 
It's a, what do they call that, a craft beer? Yeah, it's not too bad. I think it's a, a pale ale. It's original Pilsner. Oh, I'm not a connoisseur of beer. I have not too much idea. But yeah, so that's Castlemaine. That's about 30 k's uh, from Bendigo to town. Yeah, old gold, gold. Same as Bendigo, gold bloody around here. Gold everywhere, there's gold in the bloody hills. <laughs> all right guys, so I'm all, uh, I'm all packed up, all cleaned up, washed all my dishes. Made sure, just for anybody else, that I know I'm near a river, all the contents of that has been taken away and dumped up there so it doesn't go into the river. Um, obviously taken all my rubbish out. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna relax. I'll uh, finish this off. It's uh, one point, I think it's one and a half standard bloody drink, so I'll just have this and uh, have a bit of a relax and then I'll uh, mosey on home. All right, guys, see you later.